Welcome to TechEV channel. My name is Shubham and today I will show you how to create a spring using Siemens NX10. First of all, open a new model file keeping the default template. So, for developing a spring, we first need a helix. So, let's create a helix. We'll find the helix command under the curve tab. tab. Uh, if you don't find the helix command here, you can simply type in the name of the command in this uh, command finder and hit enter. For example, so command finder will show you uh, all the results for your search and then you can choose whichever command you want now let's proceed so as you can see this is the helix dialog box uh, we have various options in this dialog box such as type orientation size pitch length and other settings so under type we have two options one is vector another is climb as we are creating a straight spring we will require a long vector option under orientation you can change the angle of start point for example suppose we type in 90 degree you can see that the start point has shifted by 90 degrees now we will change it to 180 and finally to 0 degree next we have the size option in size we can specify the size of a spring based on diameter or radius let us select the radius after this we have the law type if you suppose select the linear law we have a start and end value if i type in 5 and 15 these boxes you can see that the initial diameter of the spring is 5 and at the top it goes to 50 and this variation goes linearly if we keep it to cubic you will notice the difference for now, we will keep this law type to constant and keep the value as 20 ml. Next, we have the pitch option. Same as size, here also we have various options. For example, if we keep linear and again enter the values 5 and 50, you can see that the pitch goes on increasing as we go. We can keep it to cubic and then constant. Leave the pitch as 10 mm. Next, we have the length. We can specify the length of the spring based on limits or turns. If you use limits, we have to specify the start and end point of the spring. But for now, we'll set method as my turns and keep the number of turns as 10 the final setting that we have is to choose whether the spring is left handed or right handed i will select the right handed direction of turn and click ok now we have created the basic guiding curve for our spring now we will have to create a cross section which we can sweep along this helix for doing so we have to create a sketch of our cross section at either of these endpoints but before creating a sketch we will have to create a datum plane for creating a new datum plane go to home tab and then datum plane 
click on the drop down and select on curve next we have to select a curve so we'll click on our helix and you can see that a temporary plane has been created now we have to specify the location of the curve to specify the location of this plane we can set the option to true points or percentage arc length percentage arc length is selected we can specify the percentage of length of this whole length where we want our new plane suppose we type in zero you can see that the new plane will be created at the start point if we type in 100 percent then it will be created at the lower end if we type in 50 percent it will it will be created exactly in the middle so now let's try the through point option in this we just have to click on the end point and the plane will shift there so select any one of the ends keep the direction as normal to path and click ok now we have created a new datum plane so let's sketch on this plane go to curve sketch and then click on this click on this plane expand this sketch origin option and click on specify point and make sure to select this end point so now we are in the sketcher environment select the circle command keep the circle method as circle by center and diameter and create a circle with center at origin diameter should be 5 mm now click finish sketch next we will sweep this circular section along this helix for this go to surface tab more and select the sweep along guide option select section as this circle and then guide as this helix and click ok now we have swept the circular section along the helix and created a spring you can hide this datum plane by right clicking on it and then selecting hide you can also hide this sketch and this is how you create a spring in an x10